All right, everybody, it is the wonderful Dr. Tamu Petra Brown of Coaching by Tamu and Innovative Education and Training. And as you know, I am the creator of the High Growth Entrepreneurship Roadmap, which is a business model primarily for female founders who desire high growth entrepreneurship, meaning we don't want to stay micro or small. We want to have wealth, high six figures, seven figures, and build big businesses. With me today is Alicia Francis, and she is going to be with us in the Her Community via Zoom on September 22nd at 5 p.m. So for those of you who are on the Her Newsletter list, you'll be receiving your invitation to sign up and register for this uh, event. I'm really excited about it. And I believe I maybe I'll open it up to non her community members. So if you're on the Coaching by Tamu list, I'll open it up to you as well. So I want to welcome Alicia. Alicia, welcome and let us know who you are and what you do. Well, thank you, Dr. Brown. And um, thank you for affording me this opportunity to, you know, provide some of my expertise to the her community. It is definitely a pleasure. Um, as you said, my name is Alicia Francis and I am a certified health and wellness coach and owner of Wellbeing Coaching Services. And um, just a bit of backdrop as to how we would have um, made contact and you know started communicating. It was at one of an entrepreneurship workshop that you facilitated. And I must say that the information that I got from you, the support that I got from you was quite enlightening and it helped me to be able to get a better sense of direction um, into what I would like to offer to um, put professionals on a whole to help persons thrive, right? And um, what are just a bit of backdrop, I have a background in public health and with that, I also have a certificate in health and wellness coaching. This definitely allows me to be able to provide holistic, you know, personalized wellness services along the lines of um, coaching and um, resources that can empower and equip, equip especially professionals, because we know um, as professionals, sometimes you get so caught up with helping others and doing work that we sometimes neglect our well-being. And what I want to be able to do is to be able to empower and equip professionals so that they are able to, you know, make healthy lifestyle choices, they're able to manage their stress levels and also find that harmony between, you know, their personal responsibilities and their overall well-being, right? Um, just, you know, some of the key services that I offer, I do personalized wellness coaching, group sessions, workshops, um, I assist workplaces with various workplace um, initiatives and, you know, just provide whatever support that I can to persons to help them to navigate life on a daily basis and ensure that they are, you know, taking care of their well-being. In a nutshell, that's on the professional side. <laughs> just a little bit about me on the personal side. Um, I enjoy going to the beach. I love cheesecake. And I enjoy being out in nature. And those things actually help me as a professional as well to be able to maintain my health, my well-being. And, you know, to put me in a space where I can now pour from a cup that's, you know, full and not just, you know, depleting myself. Thank you, Alicia. So, yes, I met Alicia. She was a participant in my last stint in <laughs> Grenada with UNESCO. And I was really excited about what Alicia had to offer, because if you don't know, now you know that one of the core components of the high growth entrepreneurship roadmap is self-care, mental health, well-being. And this is something that is a repeating um, tenet in the roadmap, because as you traverse along the roadmap and the different stages, you have to keep your well-being intact, your mental health intact. Entrepreneurship is extremely taxing. And I am not oblivious to the fact that many entrepreneurs are also engaged in nine to five work. 
as well. And so this is really the nature of entrepreneurship, particularly in the Caribbean. And I thought that it was important to begin as we move through the roadmap in the her community to tackle one of those core elements which Alicia is going to tackle um, for us on September 22nd at 5 p.m. So Alicia's session is 45 minutes. So Alicia, just give us a brief outline of what you will be covering in that session. Okay, so basically you sort of mentioned some of the things that I, I like to focus on. And self-care, I'm big on self-care because... Um, as you say, navigating life on a daily basis, if we neglect self-care. And a lot of times persons think that self-care is something that you have to do separate from your daily routine. But basic self-care is doing stuff that would support your, your well-being. So I am going to delve into some simple self-care tips because as busy professionals, you know, you don't want to have or you don't want to have to always have to do something that is extravagant or overwhelming just something that you can plug in and it's simple just ensuring that you drink water ensuring that you eat on time different little hacks that you can you know take into consideration on a daily basis also stress management and that is big because um if we don't manage our stress then how is it that we're able to you know take care of our responsibilities and even provide the services that we're providing to others so you know, finding techniques to manage stress. And one of the techniques that I use a lot of is mindfulness. And, um, you know, mindfulness involves being present and, you know, being in the moment without judgment. And a lot of times we're multitasking, our mind is all over the place. And that triggers, you know, sometimes a stress response, we're always on high alert. And so our body gets to the point where it's not able to perform at its best potential because we're highly stressed. And so, you know, just incorporating simple breathing techniques on a daily basis, just to kind of, you know, calm our bodies down and put us in a place where we're focused on alert on what we're doing in the specific moment. Um, that is something that I would speak about as well. And just overall work-life harmony. Um, a lot of times we hear the term work-life balance, but I must say, even in speaking to Dr. Brown, it was something that, you know, caused me to redefine and look at things from a different perspective because it's not about work and life being separate. Our work sometimes, you know, integrates with our personal life and it's finding ways in between, not waiting until your work day is over, but even while you're in your workspace, even how you set up your workspace, even how you take breaks during the day, um, just providing guidelines. And the thing is, there's information out there. The information is out there as to what I'm going to say or what I'm going to present. It's nothing that is, you know, new. It's just that sometimes what happens in our busy life, we end up, you know, losing sight of what needs to be done. And sometimes we need someone that can, you know, bring it back into focus, does the research and puts it in a concise form to give you a reminder of, you know, what needs to be done on a daily basis, just to ensure that you support your well-being and perform at your best potential. Well, thank you, Alicia. We know this. I mean, you hit a spot for me when you talked about stress and about your mind being everywhere. And of course, we know the term mindfulness, but I know that you're going to be bringing a different, I would say, more practical perspective that we can relate to as entrepreneurs um, when it comes to things like mindfulness. Because what I have found is that um, when you engage with wellness practitioners who are not um, entrepreneurs per se, or who have not engaged in entrepreneurial spaces, that sometimes the advice they give you is counter to reality, right? Because <laughs> an entrepreneur's life is a particular type of life. And so a lot of the uh, practices that they ask us to engage in are simply things that um, entrepreneurship lifestyle that, mm -hmm. does, that it does not allow us to do so. So I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to that. I'm also looking forward to some, you know, those practical self-care tips and um, your spin on what that self-care can look like in a practical, mm -hmm. um, non-extravagant way. Because as you know, sometimes entrepreneurs have limited resources as well. 
And sometimes just the thought of spending on self-care, as especially when you're in the beginning of your high growth journey, so you're not making that great money yet, or maybe you're making that great money, but you have you feel like to you know take a spa week is too much because you're thinking how could you reinvest that money. And so, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, those those practical tips that, you know, don't include a spa retreat for a week, right? Because not everyone can do that. It's funny and, you that know, you I, said that. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. It's funny that you said that because that is exactly the conversation I've been trying to have for the last couple of weeks where, because persons think, you know, self-care involves going to the spa, um, doing stuff outside of your daily routine. And while, yes, it encompasses that, um, sometimes I like to think of those elements as self-maintenance. But if yeah. you just look at the basic definition of self-care, um, simple things that we can do to, you know, enhance our well-being. And, Alicia, don't tell them everything. Don't tell them everything. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the things I want to do is to be able to give persons a mindset shift to look at things from a different perspective as well. But yes, yeah, sometimes right. I get caught up and excited yes. about it, you know. I know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So wherever you see this conversation with Miss Alicia Francis of Grenada, um, wellness expert, holistic wellness expert, I think that's really important to uh, uh, underline. You will see the link. Miss um, Francis is providing her services pro bono to the her community and so wherever you see the link you can sign up if you're not a member of the her community um, you will indicate that you would want to become a member in order to access the her community so at this time the her community is free you simply sign up um to the newsletter and you'll be getting all of the her community activities tips etc so we embark on our wellness journey next month i mean september is almost around the corner with miss alicia francis alicia thank you you're welcome and thank you <laughs> all right then all right